Hi guys, my name is Alicia and today I'm going to show you how to create a cute little lotus style candle holder using Autodesk Tinkercad. This one is going to be fit for a small tea light candle like this one, which I've measured to be about 38 millimeters wide, but you can use your own measurements if you've got a different size candle that you want to design for. Just adjust accordingly. So let's get started. First, we will want to create the base of our candle holder so that our little tea light candle has a place to sit where it won't slide around. To do this, we're going to grab a cylinder from the geometric shapes panel to the right. But I find it helpful to switch the grid snapping to 2 in the bottom right hand corner of the screen first. This allows us to make sure the cylinder will snap easily to the center of the work plane. So grab your cylinder and drag it to the center. And I'm going to make my candle holder a light purple color first. Now let's resize it by holding down the shift key and dragging the corner out to 44 millimeters. We also want to scale down the height to 8 millimeters. Now hold down the alt key and drag the cylinder up 4 millimeters to create a copy of our shape. This one we want to resize to 40 millimeters and then make sure it's centered perfectly within our first cylinder. Now we can set this object to whole and group our two cylinders together. Now for the petals. Over in the Geometric Shapes panel, grab the paraboloid and drag it onto the work plane. We're going to flatten it out by scaling the width to 4 millimeters. Then bring it over to the edge of the candle holder. And I'm going to make this one purple too. And uh, you can use the grid snapping again to make sure that it's in line with the center. Now we're going to rotate it about 70 degrees and just make sure that you adjust it so that the end is um, snugly fit inside the base of the candle holder. You can also adjust the length of the petal as much as you like here by pulling out the top. I'm going to make it about 22 millimeters. Next, hold down Alt again and drag a copy of the petal to the opposite side. Holding down Shift, rotate the petal 180 degrees. Once again, make sure that the end of the petal is fit snug into the base of the candle holder. Now we can grab both petals by shift clicking them to quickly duplicate them when we hold down alt. If you hold shift while rotating it'll snap the rotation to 90 degrees. Continue this process to duplicate the petals all the way around. Now we're going to grab just one of the petals, duplicate it, and we're going to make this one a little bit shorter. Now we're going to rotate it up about 22.5 degrees and we also want to rota rotate it to the side about 22.5 degrees. Then move it over so that it rests between these original two petals and make sure that it is inside the candle holder. So now we're going to use the same process to duplicate it around the base of the candle holder. And now our candle holder is done. Now that the petals are in place, feel free to randomize the angles of some of the petals or add another layer of petals or change it up however you like. When you're ready, grab all of the pieces and group them. Be sure to save and download your design as an STL so you can submit it to Kira Kira. Congrats on finishing your Lotus style candle holder. You can use the techniques you learned in this lesson to start tinkering around with different designs and hopefully come up with all sorts of unique candle holders. We'd love to see what you can come up with, so please share your designs with us on kirakira.com and feel free to explore more classes on the website. Until next time, enjoy your Lotus and have fun.